On a daily basis, you'll see us riding around and working on a, what's called a bucket truck and a line truck, uh, also known as a digger derrick. The, uh, the bucket truck is what we use as a lineman to access the lines, to get up and do it, perform our work and uh, supply the material to what we got to do the job. The line truck, or the digger derrick, is um, the truck that hauls the poles or hauls the heavy loaded equipment because it has more access on the back to, uh, to load stuff. On the line trucks, we haul all material needed, whether it be uh, transformers, poles, pads, um, cross arms, uh, insulators, cutout switches, any, anything that's needed for the job. Most of the time, that's our haul truck because, like I said, it has the big open space on the back and uh, you can load a lot more material where the, the other truck is filled up with uh, lockers and the boom and all that's in the way. So getting material on them is a little bit more difficult. Sometimes you'll see two trucks in a neighborhood. Uh, it can be the line truck and a bucket truck working at the same time or can be two bucket trucks working at the same time depending on the job. Those trucks work together just like we work together. Uh, the line truck is setting the pole and holding the pole up while the guys are up there working and uh, performing their duties out of the bucket. And sometimes you'll see two bucket trucks in the air at the same time, and normally when the situation that is, is when something's difficult to reach on the other side, we'll set a bucket up truck on one side and on the other, and you can go up there and you can kind of tag team the work where you ain't got to reach across those lines because most of the time they are hot. And reaching across three phases or whatever to do our job can be a little bit more dangerous for us to put one man on one side and one on the other. Our high line crews, uh, they can reach up to 100 feet. Uh, other trucks can do more if need be, but on average ours is around 55 to 60. Uh, your normal street line in the neighborhood, if it's on a fiberglass pole, if we get lucky, a lot of times we can build the light on the ground, run the wire in it already, and uh, we can just stand the light pole up and uh, with the line truck and once we set it in, get it straight, tamp around it or whatever, it's good to go. It's pretty much just flipping a switch. In the instance where there's a street light pole, a lot of times you're not that lucky because you've got lines going around and you actually had to set the pole naked or bare. That way you don't have something extra that could potentially hit a line that's uh, hot or energized. And uh, a lot of times we'll stand it up, get it set and tamped to where we can work safer. The auger on the trucks, you'll find them on the line trucks. Bucket trucks don't have them. Uh, what that is is if we're, uh, we're working, got to set a pole, and it's been located to where we know there's nothing down there to possibly hit, whether it be a gas line, communication lines, or, or anything already pre-existing down there, the, uh, the auger does, makes our job a whole lot easier. It's basically a big old uh, screw bit. And you stick it down in the ground, the truck, uh, spins it around and it digs a hole for us. That way we can just set the pole in the hole and if we can't use it then we'll, we had to rely on shovels. And that's how it works. <laughs>